With the rise in cost of petrol and its negative environmental effects, the idea of electric vehicles is gaining acceptance from individuals, organizations and governments around the world. Following the trend, the University of Lagos has built a solar energy charging point and an electric minibus made by students of the Faculty of Engineering. Of um, technology transfer in the area of zero carbon emission car. And I want to, to know that we have come up with our own and we are going to improve on what we have so that we'll be able to have collaboration with the industry through the, the Federal Ministry of um, Trade Industry so that we have that collaboration. For stakeholders, it's important that more charging centers are developed in quick time to create a good environment for the vehicles to be fully operational. Nigeria is, uh, is in a peculiar situation and uh, we have our energy problems. And that is why we in our ministry and through the NADDC are propagating the use of solar panels for charging. And that is why we have done this. So uh, what we're trying to do is we're going to replicate this in more and more places. The more people begin to embrace the use of, uh, of electric cars. Electric vehicles are not just the future, they are the now. Uh, the whole world is moving towards transitioning from fossil fuel to uh, clean energy, powered vehicles, renewable energy. Uh, so such a transportation solution needs sustainable power. When we analyze the power uh, situation in Nigeria, we understand that the opportunities are in renewable energy. So what better way than to leverage that sustainable energy to power these uh, uh, transportation solutions? That is what led to the decision of using the solar power, uh, which you know we have an abundance of solar insulation across the country. So uh, that's what led to that decision. For many, the main challenge in Nigeria is electricity supply. How sustainable this project becomes depends on a great extent on overcoming the challenges of power supply. Thank <laughs> you.